never get enough track oh! Oh! in the efficiency cabin that's what i call it it doesn't mean anything except it's my apartment it's the place i do shit these are a few of my favorite things <laughs> welcome to monday what the fuck is going on yeah why is it low is this better i don't know we're back if it sounds extra crispy that's because we're on the freaking microphone baby let's go <laughs> Yo, feels so good to be back. I love being here in front of my little workstation here, my little studio. Do I feel bad yelling at friggin' six in the morning? Yes. Do my neighbors hear me and complain? Not yet, but they might. But when we blow up, which is coming soon, because your boy's cruising. Dude, there's a lot of new people. Don't know what's happening. I think it's my podcast because it's daily and it's consistent and people like consistency and so do I. This is kind of like meshing what I'm good at with what works on the algorithmic side of things. So that's what everything's about. Dunk Life Daily. Welcome. Bienvenidos. We still speak Spanish because we need to practice. We need to practice or we're going to lose it. I want to be the best at everything I ever do. Um, I think I wanted to mention this last podcast. Bro, you have no idea how many things the second I hit stop come through my head like, oh, I forgot to say that. Um, so... That's a big problem because, like, I want to mention everything I want to mention. The notes I have in my phone are endless. I, I jot things down all the time. Sometimes I don't even look at them for weeks, and I forgot I wrote so many notes. Sometimes I look at them too much. I'm not that great at lists. I think I need visuals. I just need to, like, one day have, like, a big note board or something. I don't know. It's going to be cool to see the development of the little studio. But for now, it's been really good. Anyway, I got off topic about getting off topic, which was what I forgot to say the other day, which is I want to be the best and I want to know if it's just um, something like primal, like the age I'm at, like 26, you feel like you just want to conquer everything and go nuts. Um, I, got over the, I got over the feeling of like I just wanted to be the best because I wanted to like prove people wrong. That I'm, I don't care about anymore. I want to like prove it to myself now and also just enjoy, like I said. But the other thing is that I also think, what was the other one? Is it a male thing? Because I don't know too many females that want to fucking conquer the world. Yeah, there's, they, they are out there for sure. But when I meet people, like when I meet a, a guy or a new friend, it's like we say the same thing right away. It's like females want to do that, but I don't know if it's as much. They feel more nurturing, my family included, my sister. It's like they just want to heal the world. I want to like, I don't want to conquer it as like dominate it, but I want to like help it the most. Like I want to say, not they want to save it. I want to like progress it. That's a good way to say it right there. What are we talking about? Yep, that's how it goes. Okay, cool. Um, back in the routine, routine maintenance Monday. Wow, that's a good one. I'm excited. I got, my, I got some groceries last night uh, for you guys on the gram. Took my good camera, took a good picture of it. You know what I do. I keep the quality super high. Everything I do is super high. Super excited to get my veggie drink. Haven't had a veggie drink in about 10 days. I'm super pumped to get in back my healthy routine. My body's feeling pretty good. Definitely better than it did when I dunked on Saturday. Kind of getting it back in order. My hamstring, um, for those that are following, is a little damaged still. It's just like so tight and I never, I, I need like a long break off it, but I also need to stretch it. Split squat isos where I do a split and hold it. Kind of feels like it's slowly stretching it really hard. It's super tough to do and really painful, but I think those are really helping me with that. So I'm looking forward to getting that healthy and it's all about dunking on people's craniums now. So stamina is getting better. Um, I'm working on my cardio for the first time. I never usually do that. And it's, I definitely need more cardio to run in games. Um, and that's definitely a topic I'm going to cover in another podcast. Definitely in one of my notes, definitely not going to get to it because I definitely forget everything I say, but I'm going to try. Uh, the best thing to do is fucking bombard me with what you want to hear. If you hear me say something and mention something, bombard me with that because if I see that a lot, then I'll definitely get to it because I want to provide good info as well. But on the other hand, on the other note, on the other foot, <laughs> I can do what I want. And that's the best part. And that's why I'm pursuing this. And also because, like I said, it meshes with me. Mesh with me Monday and routine maintenance Monday are now what matter Monday. Oh, speaking about what matters, which is in my notes, which is something else, I'll just go through my notes sometimes, sometimes I'll skip through. Let's actually see what it says in my notes. So you get a little taste of what it says in my notes. Uh, mental fucking tips, Monday, okay. Brain schisms, schasms, what did I write? Skin tips. Oh, by the way, let's go through some skin tips, because you know me, I love skin. 
Um, one thing recently is I've been lotioning up a lot more. When I went to Columbia, lotioned up every time before the sun, not even sunscreen. That helps you not get burned because your skin's a little moist. If it's super dry and then you get sun, you get burned quicker. So get some lotion first. But the sun was so hot there, I had to put sunscreen on, sun lotion, whatever. Like within 10 minutes, I couldn't. I'll get burned right away. I'm too white. Um, what else? Um, what else? Oh, oh. What matters Monday? That's a good one. So make sure you know what you're doing and what part matters. So if you're when you're doing something and you're making progress, does that matter to you? What and also when I was saying with the dancing type thing the other day is like what what that doesn't matter. Like things don't matter that um, that hold you back. For example, if you're embarrassed, the thing that nothing matters. So remember that when you're going to do anything, you can do anything you want. It, life could be a freaking blink, just like Interstellar. Spoiler alert again. One. One lifetime on Earth could be a blink in a friggin' turtle's dream. That's from Always Sunny, if you guys watch. Which, okay, this is the end of the podcast before I get to this stuff. This is my last, I think I went off on 86 tangents, but this is something that's very important that I'm going to bring up every podcast, and I say that now because I'm not, but I want to bring it up, get the ball rolling, and get this as a running theme in this podcast. Always Sunny is the best comedy show. Fuck The Office, and I don't mean that in a negative way. Because I love The Office. Everybody loves The Office. You, you, if you love TV, you love The Office. I loved it. It was amazing. But Always Sunny is better. Just because The Office came out first doesn't make it better. Well, actually, kind of. Because it was, I don't know. Point is, Always Sunny has, hot, has just as much comedy. I think that one of the big things about Office is every single scene is funny. There's like no downtime except when Michael left. Michael friggin' left. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. The bar is up here and it stays up. And then it had the peaks of it are insane, dude. Always Sunny is the best comedy show of all time right now. I'm sticking to that. You can back me up if you want. I don't need any of you. I love all of you, though. Okay, so here we go. But also, fuck you all. Who's it? Who am I? What's happening in the show? Fuck, fucking, you figure it out. I don't know. Okay, here we go. On this day, I have my computer this time. I can use my computer. I love this. What's on this? T- Every day's history. You know the deal. We fucking love facts. We fucking love the years. We love numbers. We love people. And some shit goes down almost every day. 1910. Nine, not even. 910. The last major Viking army to raid England is defeated by the Battle of Tentenhall by the allied forces of Mercia and Wessex led by King Edward and Earl. Athelord. Ath- Athelord. A-T-H-E-L-R-E-D. Athelord. Okay, that was really cool. 1864, Battle of Mobile Bay, won by the Union Army, led by the Rear Admiral Farragut, with the cry, Damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. U.S. Civil War. Okay, Tor- torpedoes were launched today. Today in film, 1957, American Bandstand premieres in network TV. Great. Today in music, 1966, the Beatles released single Yellow Submarine with Eleanor Rigby in UK. We all don't know what the fuck is going on. Fuck is going on. Fuck. Okay, today in sport, 1936, American athlete Jesse Owens wins the 200 meter in the world record time, his third gold medal in Berlin Olympics. I believe that boy was a sprinter, right? Jesse Owens. That's that's relevant to this podcast. Let's see, real quick. Considered the greatest and most famous track athlete in track. Um, for uh, doesn't say. Jesse Owens long jump record at 26 and eight and a half feet. Wait, eight and a half inches. 26 feet, eight and a half inches in 1935. 100-meter record at 10-2, 1936. What else? Uh, let's see. That's sick. Uh, second gold medal at Berlin beats German Luce Long in long jump, 1936. Okay, I think this is an important one. 1936, American sprinter Jesse Owens wins the 100 meter in front of Adolf Hitler in a famous race at the Berlin Olympics. First of four gold medals at the Games. That's insane, bro. All right, now, Dunk Lifer of the Day. I got my computer here. And it goes to random comments on the latest video. Leave some comments on this one. Also, I want my reviews to be hilarious on iTunes so people that don't know the show and they click it and go to look at the reviews, they'll be like, what the fuck is going on in this show? (laughs) So I need to see. Oh, I got to actually check those real quick too. So I'll check those really quick. Maybe I'll save that for next episode if this doesn't take too long to pull up. Um, Wait, back in the States. When was this? Oh, yeah, I did it from the hotel room. 
These are a few of my favorite things. One second. Oh, this one was so nice. Hold on. Just, just texted you on Instagram with a question about lifting. Hope you reply me there. I'll try to get to you. I have a million DMs, but I also do Dunk Life memberships for training, which is going really well right now. Hold on. Dunk. Let's see if there's any new reviews. Dunk Life culture, baby. Um, that was by Tim. Don't Barood said three at 313 says energy. And Matteo Santisi says, love it, bro. I love you. Come on, man. And I'll check my reviews. And if there's none, that'll be the end of the podcast and be a really good ending. Okay. How do I see reviews? I don't know if there's a way to see reviews. These are a few of my favorite things. I don't know how to find all my reviews. Guess I will have to wait to the next view, which means episode because I am done. This is the way that I end today's show. <laughs> all right. Have a good one. Fucking Monday. What the fuck? Love you. Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh.